My bad. That was my bad. I am busy talking to myself this whole time <laughs> because I had my mic muted. <laughs> oh gosh. My sincerest apologies, everybody. I do not. It's it's just been it's been that kind of it's been that kind of week for me. It's just it's bad. Hey, they can hear me again. So everybody's just looking at me, just going on and on. Here I am doing my own thing. I'm busy trying to greet everybody, and I'm all by myself. <laughs> How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm not used to muting the mic. I had to... Ugh, I'll, I'll tell you all about it just now. As to why the mic was even muted to begin with. But how's everybody doing? Dangerous Banana? Metro Titan? Marcus Flurry? Yeah, my mic is hopefully back on now. Thanks for letting me know. How in the world do you pronounce that? Marcus... Oh, it's Marcus McFlurry. Sorry. <laughs> My brain is... I don't know where it is. How are you doing, Marcus McFlurry? Dangerous Banana, Bars, Hey Sanctum. What time is it? Right now, it is exactly 7 minutes past 10 p.m. On a Saturday... Holy... Mackerels. Talonin. Something big and red just popped up in the chat. Oh my word. Happy festive. Thank you so much, Talonin. I mean, to say you are a generous person is like, wow. Look at that, everybody. The legend himself, Mr. Talonin. The festive is really, 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 really a thing for you, isn't it? Thank you, thank you so much. Happy festive season, SG. Thanks for keeping us all entertained with your city building gloriousness this year, mates. Talonin, thank you so much for popping into pretty much every single stream. For your constant generosity, for all the help that you offer me on the discord server the advice thank you thank you thank you your generosity is just too much like even I look at that even even chat citrus and her dicks are themselves are like what thank you thank you thank you talonin really really appreciate it chris 450 is it 450 450 whoa what just happened there from the UK. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, who else haven't I grinned? Sean Harbour. Hello, Sean. Whoa, boss. It's 1.08 a.m. where you are. So where are you? You you further to the east, eh? Yeah, love them notifications too. I, I, I want to spend some time to... I, in fact, I had actually spent some time trying to customize it a bit. But ugh. anyway, long story short. So everybody, if you have a look at, at the build right now, the last two episodes that I released should have been sitting here. But as you can see, okay, can you see my mouse? Oh, there we go. That's better. The last two episodes that I released should have been sitting here. But as you can see, it is completely gone. Completely, completely gone. Fortunately, the power station survived. But the last two episodes are gone. And that is because I messed up. And I messed up bad. Right? So I had, I had an issue. When was it? Was it on Monday or Tuesday where I was running out of space on my C drive? So much so that my C drive actually read zero bytes available. So everything was just turning upside down. I went to delete things from my documents. I deleted as much as I could, emptied out my recycle bin, did everything I could. It still read zero bytes. Restarted my PC. I saw, you know, 50 megabytes available. I'm like, what in the world is going on? And be before I know it, it's all gone. So in my haste, I got into 
what is it the apps data the apps data folder on the c drive started deleting stuff and i realized that hey i was freeing up space as i was deleting guess who got happy and super excited and just started hitting delete but there are so many folders in there i was like ah you know what app data things will probably just recreate stuff it's probably a massive cache drive so i just deleted the entire folder and then all hell broke loose like everything started to hang everything was just gone to hell yeah so i attempted to reinstall a whole bunch of applications they wouldn't work even after reinstallation they were not working games were just broken everything was gone and it was at that moment that i realized i've messed up and the only way i could get my pc running again smoothly was to do a complete reinstall of my os and of course with that everything was gone now unfortunately in my infinite wisdom the only game that or the only city that is saved to steam cloud is normersburg and that honestly only happened because of the collaboration that i did with skibbeth a couple of weeks ago so city of tando was not on steam cloud so i lost the last two episodes fortunately i had backed up after i did the power station to my own cloud so i was able to recover that other than that river valley is completely gone i never did a single backup of river valley can you imagine that entire build is gone the whole city gone 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 yeah so as it stands i have no river valley city of tando we back two episodes and Nomersburg, Nomersburg is fine. Nomersburg is exactly as it is, thanks to Skibbeth. <laughs> because had I not done that collaboration with him, we would have probably gone back a couple of episodes as well. Yes, everybody. All that effort. All that effort gone. So I literally spent the whole of yesterday. Yesterday was Friday, yes. I spent the whole of yesterday getting my PC up and running again getting everything installed in time to hopefully do the stream so from next week we're probably only going to have Nomersburg videos i'm gonna try and push and get a video out for Nomersburg next week because next week was meant to be the third and final installment of these islands that i was building here on on city of tando and then we're gonna jump back into into thing what's this thing Nomersburg. So unfortunately, the progress that I had made there in finalizing this area also gone. And yeah, yes, I see all the no's. <laughs> uh, you know what, people, yesterday I was just like, it is what it is. It's gone. There's no point crying over spilt milk. It doesn't matter what I do. Those save games are not going to come back. So I made peace with it. And I figured where the stuff that I was doing in Nomersburg, uh, not Nomersburg, my city of Tando, I actually really wanted to stay. So I want to spend, I want to see if I can spend the next couple of live streams basically rebuilding this area because I really want this to stay because I was going to complete it off over here and there's going to be a bit of a slight extension in this direction as well and it's something that i want i want to happen in city of tando which is these sort of you know quote unquote man-made islands that are sitting here as they form part of that that story where we have unnecessary land reclamation that's just constantly happening in in the city starting with what we did way back there this is rather jerky actually it's jerkier than than i would expect and let me let me close this so i thought it would be smoother than this anyway i need to get rid of all these notifications man so that's the plan i want to i want to try and redo this as much as possible so there might be some slight changes 
Uh, no, that's not what I want. So as you can see, all my settings are, are gone. Like, got all these notifications popping back up again. Uh, I, whoa, I might be reading chat. Uh, to start a new river valley then I guess new map after holiday. Yeah, after holiday, something new. I don't know if I'm... <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna do River Valley again though, that's my thing. I'm thinking of starting a completely new project. Because I've had a project on my mind that I want to do for quite a while. I've always wanted to build a a futuristic city. And I didn't want to build one whilst, uh, what's his name, Akros was doing that awesome stuff with Aurelia. So now I think it's a fairly decent time to actually start it. I've always wanted to do a futuristic city since way back in the day there was a guy i used to watch i think his name was dr com or something something like that built this awesome one and i always had this inspiration to do that so i was thinking about something along those lines but i'll leave that to after the holidays to to make a final decision let me know let me know what you think about potentially putting together a futuristic city what about I create a tropical slum like Lagos? You, you know that's that is cool. That is interesting, eh? That's actually a very interesting point, Citrus. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, where am I? Okay. What's up, everybody? Has it Adesh, uh, Buzz? What about to build a medieval city? I know nothing about medieval cities. I'll spend my entire time Googling. But again, that is not a bad idea. I'm not going to throw it out the window. I love you about... Huh? I love you cool about it. It will be climbing... <laughs> oh, I would be climbing the walls, pulling my hair. Yeah, I've, I've, I'm just not going to bother myself too much about it it is what it is so yeah move on how do you have this beautiful watercolor this watercolor hang on i was coming to do something uh show in-game guide pop-ups no no yeah i think that's that's what i wanted to disable this is the map theme that i'm using it is what map theme am i using for this gosh I forgot. I forgot what map theme I'm using for City of Tando now. It's in the description, actually. I've got a link to the map theme in the description. I haven't changed the water texture of the base theme that I'm using. So have a look at that. Um. Oh, somebody was spamming. Thank you, Talonin. <laughs> Every time I try playing City Skylines and try building a beautiful city, I just lose the inspiration to do so. How do you get it done? And that's too fantastic. Adesh, I, I guess it's a case of knowing what I want and trying to achieve it. And I, until I've achieved it, I keep going. I am that type of person that is quite driven self-driven and i i push myself to show myself that i can do it so uh, until i've done what i want to do i'm just gonna keep going and that's that's really my biggest driver sanctum have you ever built something based on essay i have not ash phillips i've all i said in the i think it was in my last trip i said if i want to build something that is ooh. That is South Africa esque or Africa esque in general. I would like to have African assets, you know, assets that are that are designed with the African architecture in mind or the African type of 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 like buildings and stuff. I don't want to do the 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 default modern tall buildings that you find in our big cities of like Joburg and so on. It's like Citrus said earlier, something that is really associated with an African country, like a Lagos thing or the the huts of Kenya or here in South Africa's rural area. Places like that that I would like to do. And when I can get assets like that, 
that's when I will probably do an African themed city. But until then, I I highly doubt I'll be doing one anytime soon. I hope that answers that. I don't even remember what how I you know what. And here's the worst part. I didn't even have an aerial screenshot of everything that I had done. So I don't even have like a nice picture that I can work off of, of everything that I was doing to make my life, you know, easier. So that said, we're going to try and redo as much of the area as, as we can. But odds are there are going to be like massive differences. But, you know, it is what it is, right? But I do remember I had very big, two big islands, islands here. Yeah. I still don't believe I didn't take a single aerial shot. I think that's the part that I'm very disappointed, uh, disappointed with. Yeah, clearly. So somebody is proper, these people are proper spamming. Yeah, let's put those people on timeouts. Okay, but I see, oh, awesome, Talonan is already on it. Thank you, Talonan. <laughs> Jeepers. Who are all these people? So probably like are they bots? I'm not because I've not even seen their messages. Is the same person trying to stream read? Look at that. Okay. I'm going to get rid of some of these people. So that they don't, I'm just going to hide them from the channel, period. This has never happened to me before. This is so weird. <laughs> has anybody experienced this anywhere else before? Oh no, I don't want to unhide you. Hide you. Anyways. Uh, so I may have missed important messages in between. I am so sorry, everybody, if I missed something. There's no way to... Uh, if I put a... If I put slow mode, it affects everybody. Is there even a slow mode on this thing? I don't even know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Anyways, let's... Talonin is, is sorting these people out. Yeah, Talonin. Anyone that, anyone that does that, just hide them from the user, from the channel, please. I'll appreciate that. Thank you. All right, so let's see. Now, I remember this had some kind of a kink and it came out in sort of a direction like this. And this one was also, this one I think was this perfect rectangle here. Eh? I'm actually really disappointed I don't even have an aerial shot of this entire area. That's That for me is the part that I am disappointed with the most, that I don't have an aerial, an aerial shot of the entire place. Because that would have made my life so much easier because I would have known exactly what, what to do. So this, this should show you in case anybody thinks that <laughs> I spend my entire time planning in detail with this. I actually, I'm not. 
I'm winging. I have a, a general high level idea. And then the rest is winged at, at bow time. Uh, add night bot or stream labs to chat. Sounds night bot noted. Some people are really bored, hey? Ooh, it's too far. Let's get that. So I'm going to, I'm really going to try and just rebuild as much of this area as I can. But this is going to also be a bit different, very likely. I need to change these ship parts because I had, I had changed the ship parts for them to come a little further out. <laughs> I use this for when I really stream. Xerox, where are you going? <laughs> Thanks, Xerox. You too have a good one. I am sure, though, that this was not that big. Ooh. This should, this is not a very big island, but maybe now it can be. Ooh. Let's do that. And clear the space out. Boop, boop. One of the things I did want to do, one of the things that I had wanted to actually do and totally slipped my mind when I was building was add a a spot for for a few amenities, you know, like uh, football fields or tennis courts, basketballs, that kind of stuff. So this will give me the opportunity to add a couple of those. Mm. Go make your coffee, Talanen. Will Tando get an airport? Dan, yes, it will get an airport. So, with with the announcement of of the airports DLC, I abandoned I abandoned any idea of what I wanted to do with an airport, and figured I'll just wait for the DLC to be released, and then build an airport using the DLC. Also give me the chance to actually see exactly what the DLC is made of. So that's the plan. So as soon as the DLC gets released, I will I will definitely be building an airport using that, Dan. Just as well that I was so patient with the airport, eh? Because had I built had I built an airport, you know, whenever it was long ago, I would have missed out on this on this DLC opportunity. So yeah. I can't remember how this actually went. I think it kind of went like this and then it straightened a bit. And then there was this kink here with this floating hotel. Oh, not a floating hotel, but an area where the hotel extended into, into the ocean or into the river. So for the next episode, I was starting the work here. Why is... What's going on? My thing keeps having random freezes. Which is not cool. Let's get rid of these. Mm. 
if Tando gets an airport, it should be one from the upcoming airport pack. Yep, 100% Marvin Woods. Hundred percent. That DLC looks like it is going to be pretty dope. So I'm quite excited to try it out when it's when it hits us. I actually can't remember if this was a a perfect rectangle or not. Hey, you know what? I actually I don't know what why I am pretending that I don't have my own videos. I'm sure in my videos there should be I'm sure I did an aerial shot at the end, didn't I? I generally tend to do that. That if I didn't do it this time round, then wow, it was definitely not meant to be. Let's see, do I have an aerial shot? Eh, I have something. Okay, so this one was also, this also had a bit of a kink in it. At least I got that, which is good. Something is not right. I also wish there was a perfect square brush dangerous banana. I I really wish there was one as well. Oh. Yeah, so I've opened up I've opened up the video at least. I'm trying to have a Oh, wait, hang on. I did an aerial shot where I actually did all of that. There we go. There it is. Yay. Okay, I found it in, in the previous video where I could actually see exactly what I had done. Ah, much better. Much better. I forget that I had an aerial point where I was actually doing all this landscaping. Well, not landscaping, but carving the landscape. Something is not right. My thing keeps, it keeps like hanging. It has this like random hang and then the mouse shoots off. All right, cool. So that's that. I hope, I hope people, you all don't mind that the next, the next couple of live streams would be me rebuilding this. So we're probably not going to have a continuation of Tando anytime soon. Hopefully, hopefully there'll be enough time for me to put together a build for next week in Nomersburg. If not, please bear with me. My keys are flipped. Oh, no, man. I don't like this. I don't like the fact that this thing doesn't, it doesn't like hug. See, it just shoots off. Like it just shoots off there. It's so annoying. Ugh. That's annoying. Can I put, if I put it here first? to pull the ground and then maybe maybe if yeah there we go that's better so when there is when there are other segments that it can work off of it works much better i think my sound is disabled because i don't hear anything yeah sound is disabled Ooh. There's something not right with my game. I don't think everything is perfectly is perfectly working yet. So I need to I need to spend some time and actually figure out what is what I'm missing. All my mods and assets though were still there, which was nice. 
because I, the mods and assets don't get stored on the on the C drive, but to where the to where the game is is installed, and all my games are installed on a separate drive to my C. So, fortunately, all I had to do was reinstall Steam and point it to the new to the game folder, and everything was up and running again. So every game that doesn't save that doesn't save to the C drive, I didn't lose my progress. But of course, City Skylines is completely gone. I haven't had a look at City State yet. I should actually check that out and see if I've lost all of my saves. Oh no, I did look at it. I'm lying. I did lose the saves. All the saves are gone with City State. But I only had one one city there anyway, so it gives me the chance to start again. Let's just lower this a little bit. Uh, what time is it for me, SG? Marcus McFlurry. It is now half past 10 p.m. Saturday night. What time is it for you? Whereabouts in the world are you, Marcus? Marcus McFlurry. I like your name. Why is it doing that? This is something I used to experience before, but I cannot for the life of me remember why it was doing that. Where it would just randomly freeze and then continue again. Does any Has anybody experienced that before, by the way? Or did the music disappear? The music did disappear, didn't it? What happened? Didn't I? Oh! <laughs> That was my bad. I was meant to press skip, but I instead I pressed the pause button. <laughs> Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Uh, I am not liking what's happening here. Okay, so I should be able to go from here across. Slope too steep. Of course, the slope is too steep. Uh, hang on a sec. Okay. Turn off the snapping. I don't want to turn off the snapping. I need the snapping. This. Oh, okay. All right. You're speaking about earlier. Okay. No, I hear you. You should. You should. If you like shooting advice at me, or you wanna ask me a question or something, you should tag me. Tag at Sanctum Gamer, because then it pops up. It pops up highlighted in chat so I should then see I should then see that in my peripheral uh, I think this is too far out look we'll do a couple of things different I think let me just accept that we'll do a couple of things different so even if the sizes don't match 100%, it's all good. Oh, whoops. Whoops. Hey, Sisha Montilado. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome to the stream. I would love to see those episodes being both live. Well then, Hellboy. You are going to see them being both life, I guess. I wasn't paying attention, but when I hear lost games and saves, I think disk crash. Did that happen to you, Marvin Woods? No, it did not happen to me. It was self-inflicted. I went ahead and deleted my apps data folder on my C drive, which happens to be the folder that pretty much every application seems to save its data too seems to write all of its caches too and so on and i basically shot myself in the foot i pretty much destroyed my entire pc I had to do a complete os install yesterday so wasn't pleasant was it yesterday no it wasn't yesterday sorry i had to reinstall on wednesday i did the reinstall on wednesday and spent yesterday trying to get myself back up and running 
usually the freezing is an issue with auto save i'm pretty sure i have you are right you are right i actually remember that don't i have auto save yeah i have auto save disabled i have auto save disabled so it's something else Metro Titan in the house. It's like my entire PC undergoes a freeze. It's like it's everything. It's not the game, actually. My entire PC undergoes a freeze. Because I was just now on the chat and my mouse stopped moving temporarily and then it started again. Uh, I've got problems. Uh, Dan, what's my PC by the way? Uh, so full specs are listed on the about page of my channel, but I've got a I've got 64 gigs of RAM. I've got uh, a 3080 Ti, uh, and my CPU is an i9 9900K. Those are usually the most important things, but you can see the full list on the about section of my channel. can move any steam game without reinstalling it yes i'm i'm away live and learn marvin we love and learn <laughs> i think your pc is a hangover from the holidays the holidays have barely began how can it be a hangover they've barely began oops oops I need to figure out why this thing is actually freezing so much because this is not cool. Is that lined up? That doesn't look lined up to me. Oh, by the way, so, so like just to give you an idea, right? When I'm building, when I'm recording, for example, if, I, I'll, if I'm going to draw a key around this entire space, what I would do is, I would go ahead and I would draw my key in that manner. Now that doesn't look straight to me. So I would cancel, I would move my camera, I'll get into position, and then I would actually draw it. So this is for everybody who's wanted to know how I do it. And then I'll actually draw the key proper. And once I'm, draw I'm done with the key, I'll return back, go right back to that spot, and then draw out again and then i'll just edit out all the movement during editing so yeah there you go i am not constantly in that same position because things will look very very wonky sorry my, my some of my keys are messed up i need to swap rotate camera up and down yeah i need to swap these around yes I need to swap those two around. Is that better? Here we go. That's better. Mm. Isn't there daylight savings? Hey, wait. Hang on. I'm missing so much. Wow. Isn't there a daylight savings time adjustment in South Africa? No, there isn't. There isn't. We stay on the same time zone regardless of of year, season, and so on. We we technically should have two time zones actually but we actually have we actually stick with one one time zone and i think because of that you know they it's, it's like uh, this daylight saving time is and it's not actually that bad for us to be honest we don't have a massive difference between our winters and and summer i don't think anyway Whoa. Oh, let's join. Invalid shape. Okay, fine. Why? 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 Uh, I just need to get this to be 90 degrees. There we go. But it needs to line up with you. Okay. 
Okay, and then I can close it off. Cool. That's that. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Dangerous Banana, it is. This is why the editing, if you look at my stats on my videos, most of the time my editing is almost like half as long as it takes me to build everything the editing process is quite it's quite intense but you know it's all about it's all about the quality at the end that's what it's about if you want to put out a quality video You've got to put in, put in the time, right? Oh, sweet. Oh, no, wait. I need to align all of these before I continue. Let's just do a straight select of everything. All right, these, these ones are already aligned, so if I set it to one of them, what is happening? What did I click? To object height. Okay, so that aligns everything. What you might call it? Did I just see what you uh, what you might call it? Mm, no, that is looking very wonky and weird. Oh no, that's even worse. Now we might have a bit more space here than I did before, but we'll work on that, I suppose. Let's get the road layout in place. I don't like the fact that as soon as you come close to a key, like everything just starts getting messed up. Like alignment goes out the window. Oh, that's annoying. so annoying <laughs> oh you've gotta love it Ooh. oh my configs oh wow I take for granted how many things how many things uh, I had set up over the years like literally since getting city skylines I've never had to reconfigure anything Sanctum time zones in SA would help SCOM a lot <laughs> I don't know I think that would actually even be it would just be bad for us because all they will do is say, oh, everybody in this time zone, I'm going to switch you off. Mo what's move north? No, that's, that's what I'm looking for. Oh my word, could you stop freezing? Oh no. My game is frozen. Can you still hear me, everybody? Because my game is frozen. I don't know. Can you hear me? Okay, so you can hear me. <laughs> K. 
game is frozen completely frozen it's not doing anything oh gosh you know what that means it means that everything we've been doing for the last 15 minutes is gone oh oh it's back it's back let me do a quick save what's what's a quick save it's just control s control shift s what's a quick save okay let's do a regular save save <laughs> almost lost that we're up and running again we're up and running again i don't know what's going on i i really don't know what's going on you know what i'm not going to try and change config now i'll use the default configs for all of these for all of these mods if i can remember them and then we'll worry i'll worry about changing all the other configurations off screen let's not risk let's not risk a crash I need to save more frequently. Oh my word, why can't I? What is happening? Oh, I hadn't selected a road. Okay, so we've got that. so weird using page up with move it i usually have my up and down configured to v and c respectively is this straight it's straight and let's get this let's get that back yeah uh oh let me can i do this options i'm not going to bother with you key mappings where's the save where's the save one where's the save button the save is this further up there's a quick save option or is that the f1 no, F1 is screenshot, right? Debug, free camera, zoom, pan, pan, toggle, 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 tool, tool, change elevation step, build elevation step. Oh, change this to in game, pause, quick save. There we go. I want this to be Control Shift S. There we go. So now I can quick save whenever I want. No, this is not straight at all. No. Ah, that's gonna bother me. Not. Yeah, that's gonna bother me. Nope that's not gonna stay i put too much time and effort in making sure that all of these things are aligned let me pull that up that's too far actually let's do this I need to make sure that this connects up to this. Even if this part is not straight, that's fine. But it has to be straight across here. Yeah. And then this can skew a bit to go and join up to that. That I can live with. Ooh, can I? Oh, gracious me, no. No, 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 no. How 
the world did I get this to be straight the first time? Oh, there we go. That's how. Align it with that. Boom. That's better. Yeah. I'm happier now. Uh, I watched a video recently about overhead pedestrian highways in Chicago. Uh, kind of look kind of like your overhead walkways is it something that they've built already or something that they are thinking of building <laughs> computer you are the best and most wonderful in the world says chat and me so please behave your videos are awesome to play along with love your work luke taylor thank you so much for the kind words really really appreciate it we'll link in discord awesome thanks jester we'll have a look uh, sisha let's try talking to the computer nicely first before we yell let's all challenge something to build a ocd free block <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, well, I don't know about that one. <laughs> Hello, Star TV. What's up, Daniel Sodri Pascal? Hello, Dangerous Banana. Wait, what am I saying? Don't ask me what I'm reading. Oh, so it's actually there in Chicago already. No, definitely drop the link. I'll have a look at it. Oh, it's disassembled. Well, that was an anticlimax, Just I should have started with that. You got me so excited. I was ready to go and pull up your link and go and see this thing in action. And then you, you finish all of that off with, oh, but it's been disassembled. That was such an anticlimax. You had me so excited. <laughs> ah. I, I'm, I'm pressing the wrong key. Sorry, that's me. I'm pressing the wrong key. Because it's V and I mean it's page up and page down. It's not V and C like I have configured it. Let's grab, I'm gonna grab these two. And we're gonna shift them all the way in. I see you moving down, boy. I see you. I see you. And then this can move. Ooh. Whoa, what is happening? I am supposed to be moving things left and right. Whoa. Oh, there's a huge thing on my bob here. Okay, you can go back down. That's fine. I can bring you up a little bit, actually. Let's bring that up just a tad bit so that it's elevated nicely over. And this one needs to come further in. Ooh, too far. To there. Yeah, I think that's fine. Because I need I want the road to be uh, to be fairly close to the road. Oh wow. Something is not right. This chap is not right. Together with this chap. Let's sort that out. Is that better? Does that look better, everybody? Does that look straight? Yeah, that kind of looks straight. Uh, no. See, there's a slight, there's a slight kink there. I don't know if that is because of me or not. Uh, I'm not liking that. That's. There we go. That's better. No kinks. Yeah, we good. still watch it pretty cool okay okay i'll still watch it you should be straight oh my goodness oh i know why it's not getting straight let's just align here align here here okay we are aligned 
So who was saying they wanted to see how this was built? This is how it's built. This is the part of the build process that you don't see. Me fighting with alignment. And I fight with alignment because I cannot, I cannot take things being misaligned. All right, we can then cross. How far do we cross? I think we cross quite a bit. And then we go, and then we go straight. There's a bit of a bend somewhere here. Okay, wait. This one comes across. I hope I've left enough room. Let's get you all the way to there. Uh, do I have a road? Do I build roads here? Yeah, yeah, I built roads. Okay, great. Ah, but I see. Ah, I see. So this was actually thicker. Eh. We'll make it work. Things will look slightly different, but it will not be the end of the world. What's that? 15. I've got 49. 39 34 and then we can join that up 15 15 all right this area is already going to look different you can i can already tell that this area is already going to look different in fact this whole thing looks different so in the original build this area comes in a bit further and yeah, I think this should actually come in a bit further. Otherwise, we don't really have much room to work with. And I actually think this is too... It's too big. It's too long. So I know that's going to be 15. So I can make this... 7... 7... 7 and... And then I should be able to join this up. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That works. Well, leave the bridge as is the bumps in the bridge keeps the drivers alert i don't have a problem with the bumps it's when the road is skewed that i have a problem with it because then it just looks real funky and weird mm. if you use the arrow with the dot you can align the node while using move it to wherever you need it. Mm. Let me see if I understand you right. If I use the arrow with a dot, which arrow with a dot? Which arrow with a dot? Uh, all right cool so we've crossed let me know which arrow with the dot so that not i don't think i can see which one we're talking about thank you how boy 13 they are a labor of love <laughs> i believe that's the term how do i stop the mini starters i get every 30 seconds I'm getting it too. This is what I was talking about, um, Citrus. It's like my entire my entire game, not the game, it's the entire PC freezes for like a split, for like a second, and then it continues again, and it's annoying. So it's got nothing to do with network. It's actually my PC. I don't know what it is. Sorry, I'm just moving. I want to see if it will happen again. Come on. There we go. And then it just it just froze on me there. I don't know why. I really I um You know what I didn't do? I have not Ah, I think I know why. I think that is memory swapping 
I didn't reconfigure my page file size. I didn't do that. So it might, it might be using, but no man, even if it's swapping off of the C drive, it's an, it's an NVMe, so it should be fast enough. It's the only thing I can think of that it's, it's, it's swapping in the background and that's probably what's causing that to happen. It's, yeah, I'm going to have to take a look at this. I'm so sorry for this guys. Like it's bad. I do apologize for the, ugh, that's not cool because I am also not happy. I guess this is what happens when your PC crashes, huh? It takes, we take for granted how, how much we've actually configured our PC. Could you stop pressing that? We take for granted how much we've configured our PCs to our liking. And it's only once that is gone that you realize, oh snap, there was so much. Like I tried looking for a piece of software and that software is not there because it hasn't been reinstalled yet. Is the VRAM getting taxed? Yeah, I think that I think that's exactly what's rare happening, Sisha Montilado. I think that's exactly what is happening. But well, I don't know if well, okay, by VRAM if you mean my page file, yes. If you mean video RAM, well, it was never a problem before. What could fix the problem for you and everyone that has this is upgrading RAM. If you get a kit and better timing and higher speeds, this will go away. But water is not wet. This was a problem that wasn't there before, right? You never experienced it on stream. So it's got something to do. It's very likely got something to do with the fact that I had to reinstall my OS and I'm probably missing something. There's something that I haven't reset that I should have done. Five icons left of the exclamation mark. Five icons left of the exclamation mark. What exclamation mark? What? Ex oh, this exclamation mark. Oh, left. One, two, three, four, five. I am here. Oh, you talking about? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five icons there. Here's the fifth one. I click it. Oh, you mean I must turn off these? Is that what you're referring to? Anyway, water is not wet. I'm actually running 64 gigs of RAM. So this should not have any problems, actually. But it could be the fact that Streamlabs... Oh, by the way, so so I took the opportunity, by the way, to set up everything for 4K. I am ready to start doing 4K. So thank you to every single person especially you mr talonin because your generosity towards that 4k stream has been tremendous but to every single person thank you so much i have set up everything ready for 4k so i want to try a 4k stream probably sometime during the week as a test as a test stream probably to my discord members for those of you who are willing to help me out you jump on there and let's see how it goes so i'm hoping to start I'm hoping to start full 4K production of all my videos, hopefully from the next one. So yeah, thank you everybody. This is not lined up. You are not lined up, line up, everybody line up. Ugh. Sorry, I am humming a kiddie song because I have been listening to kiddie songs for the last, I don't know, how many weeks? 
I've got kiddie songs in my head, nursery rhymes in my head. <sighs> I literally find myself sitting and humming nursery rhymes in my head. That's what it means to have kids. This isn't lined up. It's not lining up nicely. So I might so, so I'll just do this. It's not lined up. Look at this. Look, 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 look. It's not lined up. Look at this space here. See that space there? Let's move all the way along. Watch the space get smaller and smaller and smaller till we get there. Oh my word. I am irritated, actually. I'm very irritated. <gasps> Could you stop pressing that? <laughs> Muscle memory page up. It's page. frustrating move it where are you where's the what's this it yeah move up v move down c i'm done yay now i can press those buttons without stressing yeah it's probably something with the drive just the says it's best to monitor your systems and check what part of your system is being maxed. The issue can be GPU, CPU, and RAM. It's not a bad idea, actually. So let me pull that up and let me keep my performance part open actually and see if I'll see any major spikes on anything. Especially when I have when I have those those jitters. You know what's interesting is that every time that happens I notice on on the on YouTube studio that it's waiting for data then it continues so it's like my whole PC hangs for a second or two and then comes back to life switch off the grid <laughs> then you won't notice the time the alignment issues <laughs> I've seen it already, Jester. So it's it's here. To be honest, probably after the stream sometime, I am going to I am going to try and sort it out. I know myself. No man. Uh uh. Something else is something else is hogging my V. And I think it might be a game a game one. What's hogging V? Toggle underground bulldozing. Ah, is that what you're supposed to be? Oh, but I don't need this anymore actually. Because I don't need this anymore because I've got move it. Oh no, definitely not return. Okay, let's give it some random key like K. Nobody uses K for anything. K is one of those keys that never gets used. There we go. So now, yay, my heart is at peace. How high is this going? I don't want it to go too high. This can go a little bit higher, and then we can go a little bit higher here as well. And then, it's frozen. I'm not seeing any sp Ah. So Jester, guess what? Just now when it froze, there was a CPU spike. But the CPU is currently boosted already. It's operating at 4.7 gigs 
gigahertz when it's its base clock is 3.6 and it's boostable to 5 gigs i must actually check it might be linked also to my my is it, it what's it tool that allows you to over uh, to push your cp into into overdrive what's it man i forget What in the world? This happened to me in the first build as well. I don't get why that's happening. Anyways, it's gone. That's all that matters. All right, let's. So where's this? It's here and it's here, right? So I will chuck that, and then I will connect it up with this. And then we can grab that node. Ooh. Oh, are you too close to this node? What in the world? Yeah, I should be able to do that, no problem. Oh yeah, there are two nodes here. Wait, see what? What node is this? Oh! They were too far apart. I was wondering for a moment that what was happening. And then this can also come and join up. Come on, let's go, let's go. All the way. There we go. And then I'll take this one and bring it also right up there. And then you can go down a bit and this one can also where is it? No ways. Okay, too low. Way too low. Interesting. Was the land actually really this much higher before? I didn't realize that. CS can only work on a single core. Yeah, your large amount of RAM and amazing GPU is likely your CPU has not become your bottleneck. Likely your RAM, your game at lower settings. Yeah, I'm sure it's the RAM. It's at 64 gigs of RAM. Like seriously, that I'm looking at my my RAM right now and only 30 gigs is being used, of which CTS is using seven seven and a half gigs so something something is probably causing it to swap yeah see look at that my my page size right now is sitting at 800 megs non page is sitting at 845 that's something else this thing is doing something else i need to reassign it to my to the nvme drive just so that it's operating better it's got 32 gigs cached yeah no it's doing it's doing other things it's it i'm sure it swaps it swaps it's not if not for cities then maybe it's for obs could be any number of things really does this issue only come up during streaming or when you are playing off steam this is the first time I'm experiencing this issue. And and to be fair, I've not played City since I did the reinstall. So I wouldn't really be sure. So I'm going to have to play a bit 
off. Oh, can I not? I can't break you. Okay, then let's do this. Oh, oh, okay. This is actually perfect. Let's connect you up. Let us break this one. And then we connect this up with that. There we go. And there it goes freezing again. Every time that freeze happens, there's a CPU spike. Is there a hard disk right at that point, maybe? If I can see a spike on a hard disk, yes, there it is. There it is. There is a spike on my hard drive that coincides perfectly with with that game that freeze yeah there it is again i am a, i'm pretty sure right now it's a swapping that's happening and the worst part is the hard drive that it's using is it's a disk drive it's not an nvme drive and it's not the it's not an ssd it's doing this on a disk drive. I think that's the culprit. I am pretty sure that is the culprit. Because the, coinc the, the coincidence is too much. It's swapping to a freaking disk drive. Why didn't it pick a at least an SSD to do it on? Alright. So at least I have a starting point. I'll have a look at it after and see if if i swap if i change out where the the memory should be or where it must use for for the what's this thing for the page file see if that will help uh, please tell me Please tell me. Good evening, the Isaac. Hello, Commander Cody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How you doing? How you doing? Okay, so I want to. I need to elevate this. I want to elevate this to the height of that. Uh, let's see, because these are way too low. There we this well let's see uh, it's fine I'm not going to stress too much let's do the actually no man I need to elevate these let's grab these ones let's bring it all to that height and then let's get the ground to level out. I'm not going to stress myself too much about the about this just yet. I'll sort that out. Okay, cool. That's better. So now we can go ahead and have Put this, let's put this, let's put this. Where are you? It was a hub. It wasn't. Was it this one? Yeah, monorail and train. How much? Yeah, this was a small island actually. Ah, that explains why this was shorter and longer. Okay. I'm gonna push this out wider, but how far was it? Let's put that there. Let's 
So I wanna try and get the monorail monorail down. I I never know which one is a monorail for my word. So let's go all the way. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope it lines up. Because this needs to go all the way there. And this can come a little further out. Needs to go all the way there. Alright, so let me turn that off. Oh, let's keep you paused. I'm going to remove that. I think in the video, I didn't show in my original build, I think I connected, I didn't show this. But I basically changed the root completely. So I used that, this new station to be a, a sort of change point. So these go there and then you would take, you then connect from there. Oh gosh. Connect it to there. So that's now the new connection. So this was now a a sort of hub hubby point. Can I remove trees and grab oh, remove that as well? Grab you. Set you at the same height. Cool. You know what? This this uh, freezing thing is really getting to me. Hey. It's like completely killing my Ugh. Ugh. wrong thing again. Why can't I grab it? Or is there no node here? There's a node here. I get these to the right height. Is that alright? Yeah, that's fine. Let's grab all of these. And that. And let's align those. Oh, let's slope them rather. Okay, cool. That's perfect. Oh, look at that. This node landed right smack bang in the middle of the road. I like it. So let's get you also fairly high up. We'll clear out the trees. Oh, gosh. Everybody, I think when I'm done... When I'm done with this, when I'm done with aligning this, I'm going to call it a stream because this is just, this is painful. <laughs> I'm a secret Jedi. <laughs> Does your light rail run off the force? <laughs> Does it run off the force? It runs off a force. <laughs> Let's get this in play. Slow. Oh. This, this one needs to actually elevate a little bit more. That needs to elevate a little bit more so it can clear all... Well, I'm going to move those trees, actually. Those trees are not going to stay. And then I'm going to line up all of these. But I've decided they are not going to line up. They are lying. They don't know me. 
slope. So all of these I use kind of straight. up a bit my brain finds peace in symmetry when things are not symmetrical my brain does not know what to do All right, those are lined up nicely. Yay! No! What's going on here? What is going on here? What are you doing? Why are you alone wanting to go in some other wacky direction? Thank you. It's not perfectly aligned, but that's fine. I can sort that out. Aviation Ace, yeah, this this is painful. I think for me it's worse because this didn't used to happen. Now all of a sudden, it's just, it's just, it's just the worst. Everyone, I'm going to call it a stream because this thing is, it's bumming me out. Ah, wait, sorry. I'm not supposed to use that phrase. My apologies to my breath. I think that was what that was what it was, right? The last time. Uh, so I, I actually want to. I want to take the time to to figure out what's going. Ah, man, could you stop clicking options? <laughs> I want to take the time to try and figure out what in the world is going on. What's causing all these freezes? I really hope it's it's the swap so i'm gonna try and change that hopefully that should sort it out and then sometime during this week i'm going to have i guess a, a closed stream to the discord members to attempt or to try and do a 4k stream and see how that holds up what the quality is like and so on Everything is already set up for, for the 4K stream. I'm using OBS to downscale this to 1080p because I don't know what's going to happen if I start doing 4K streams. So the last thing I want to do is do that to the public and it's just the worst. So, everybody, I'm sorry for the quality of the stream today. It's not been the best. I do apologize. I'll try and get that sorted out so that next time it is much, much better. I will be working on this off camera so that we move along faster and get to actually filling out what I wanted to do in this area. So I'll try and work on this a bit off camera. Next week, Saturday, we'll definitely con have another live stream where we try and, and push ahead with this again until we get it done. Will I be streaming next weekend? Oh, wait, next weekend is Christmas. Oh, flip. Uh, it's highly unlikely. You know what? It's highly, highly unlikely I will actually stream next week, Saturday. But we'll, I'll probably stream during the week. Sometime during this week, I am going to stream. But again, that is going to be to, to Discord. So if you want to join in on that stream, get onto the Discord server. I will, I will post it on there when I'm going live. And yeah, everybody, I think... I think that we'll have to do for today wasn't the greatest but i'll be up and running again hopefully very soon thank you everybody for joining me on the stream today i really really appreciate your time especially your patience through through all of this that has been happening it's been awesome friday is your birthday i'm assuming you mean next week friday aviation ace Happy, happy early birthday. 
I hope you have an awesome, awesome one. Don't you dare stream next week and be with your friends. Oh, no, I'm, I'm definitely going to be with family. That's for sure. That's for sure. Thank you, Sisha Montilado, for your constant chatter. Talonin, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that big donation. Noted that these islands have already been named by you. You did so in one of the chats. It will be acknowledged in the third, epi in the third video when we do this. You know what the name is. I will definitely be assigning it to, the, to, to this entire area. All right, everyone, thank you so much. Demario O'Brien, I like your name. That's a nice name. Demario O'Brien, that's, that's a nice name. I, that's, that's a proper name. I like it. I like it very, very much. <laughs> all right. Merry Christmas to all. Have a fantastic time. You know what? The weekend after, after that is New Year's. It's highly unlikely anybody is going to want to be spending their New Year's with me. So there will probably won't be a stream then. So there's not going to be a stream for the next two Saturdays. So instead, I'll probably do midweek streams for those that are available. That will want to come and hang out. And I guess we'll use that time to make as much progress as we can in getting these areas rebuilt. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Have an awesome one. Really appreciate it. Have an awesome morning, afternoon, and good evening wherever you are. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Cheers, everybody.